So we're going to start as far back as at least I can trace our family history. Mum, whose name was Mina Anisimova. Her mother's name, maiden name was uh, Shmirin. And uh, she, her family came from uh, around sem Semipolitinsk, but not, and they were uh, not city folk, so today there's a big city there, but um, they were, uh, her father was, he was able to do blacksmithing and uh, glazing that I know of. There were there probably other things he could do. And her mother, who would be my grandmother, her name was Akolina. Her father was named. Her father was Alexei. Her mother was in um, a service, and this was, um, you know, after the serfs had been free. Uh, there was still a lot of people would just go and uh, serve and, uh, in people's homes and basically be servants to the richer people. And she was happy to marry our grandfather. Alexei because she was out of servitude and she was, uh, they were independent. They were poor and, uh, but um, anyway, so they uh, married and had uh, some children and I don't know how many. I do know that she had three sisters and a brother when they went to China. My mother had a few brothers who died um, who were much older than her and had died in possibly uh, the Second World War. I'm not sure of that. Sorry, but they were. She did have brothers who had passed away, and but she still had a. She did have a surviving brother, Ivan, and their names were usually um, given on a on a day, uh, a name day of a saint because they were uh, in Russia. Everyone was supposed to be Orthodox. And so um, they had, um, well, Anastasia is a very common name, Anna, Nusia, Nusia is uh, a derivative of Anna, so one of her sisters was Nusia. In the 1930s, Stalin uh, became the dictator in communist um, USSR. His policies was to build up the industry and uh, particularly the cities. So. The, uh, in, the, in the country, in the rural areas, people were um, working to provide food for, uh, to, uh, for the cities and well, most of the food was being taken and there was a lot of starvation, there was a lot of hunger. And the people were expected to work and not have enough to eat. Now, uh, the, now, Dad. Before I go on with that history, Dad's family came into that. Um, was in the in that area of South uh, Siberia, and but they were closer to Alma Ata, which is also still in Kazakhstan. It was uh, a little bit the south and west. Either my father's grandfather or his great grandfather had come from the other side of the Caucasus. Well, on the other side of the Caucasus is Turkey, but they were in, in the, in the uh, Russian side, so they were somewhere in the Caucasus or just on the other side. As far as uh, I've heard, there were uh, Cossacks and they had been given land and settlement way over in the east, right across in, in, in that area. And there were other settlers there. There were, as far as I know, there were quite a few Ukrainians there. There were, uh, even, there were, had even been some German um, people who had settled there. And so Dad's family spoke Ukrainian, and he had a Ukrainian name, Fyodor Skojenko. Now Fyodor is also one of those names that comes from the Greek Orthodox, uh, which was uh, which. The Russians became Orthodox based on the Greek Orthodox religion back in uh, quite a few hundred years ago when the Tsar had decided which religion Russia was going to be. But anyway, Dad's name, Theodore, 
uh, is well Fjordet, it's it's basically the equivalent is is a Theodore in English. His father's name was Denis Dennis. So uh, Denis Skrzenko. And so dad's name was um, Fyodor Denisovich Skrzenko. Because in Russian uh, they didn't give second names, they, uh, they took the names of their fathers. So mum's name was uh, Nina Alexeyevna Anisimova. And our names, because most of us, we didn't get, get uh, second names because we were named in the traditional. At the time of Stalin in the 1930s, there was a lot of trouble with the people because they couldn't, they didn't have enough to eat. And fortunately for uh, both mum's family and dad's family, it was they lived close to China, and they uh, people were basically going across the border to China, where they didn't have that starvation. They didn't have the communist rule there at the time. That was in the 1930s, and uh, there was food there. But there was troubles there too. In China, there was a lot of warlords, there wasn't the communists then. They, were, uh, they didn't uh, appear in that area until decades later. So, um, so Dad's family and Mum's family both walked across the border. Dad's family, uh, Dad's father didn't make it because he was put in prison, because he had been caught trying to escape across the border. If they found people trying to escape, they would put them in prison because it was they didn't want people to, uh, you know, go away, run away. You know, it was you didn't have permission, even if you were dying, starving. That wasn't important to Stalin. He's, in, he's in, he was, you know, he had this vision, and he forced it on, you know, he forced it, and he caused a lot of suffering. Many millions of people died because of his policies. So anyway, so our, our grandfather, my grandfather, he passed away um, in prison. He died, he, they didn't feed them much there. There was a lot of illness and disease and people basically died in prison often. So he died of tuberculosis, which he got in prison. And before he passed away, um, he, his family, he, uh, our grandfather, our, I mean our, mother, our grandmother, um, had to leave she, and she went to visit him in the prison and she said we have to go with us nothing to eat and he said well you better go and so they walked across and um, it was uh, well you can see on a map how far it is it was within walking distance they had to be careful and same with mum's family they walked across now dad was 11. He tells us he was about 11 when he's, uh, he, they walked across the border and um, I mean his father wasn't there. He had a sister and a mother. He might have had an, uh, more sisters. I think perhaps he did have at least two sisters. And his mother wasn't well. And um, But they, were, they, they made it. And mum's family, she was nine years old when they walked across the border. Now, Dad was born in around 1920. There was no registration of birth or anything, so that's an approximation. It's possible that he was a little bit older. Mum was born in 1924, and that, that's certain when she was nine and he was 11, so you can work out when they went to China.